I hope you guys are all doing well. I just decided to get out and do a video today. I'm going to put this on both my YouTube channels. And here goes. Well, I've been seeing a lot of this stuff over the last couple of years. Stuff from two years ago that's been going on in Florida. Um, and in different places, they've been doing pulling these bands with the animals. You can't own a reticulated python. You can't own a Burmese python. You can't own a green iguana. Um, you can't own this or that. Tegus, they did a, a lot of states have did a lot of out, outlawing. Um, well, here's my opinion, and I'm going to shoot straight from the hip. Um, my opinion is this. If you can take care of the animal, you can afford taking to take care of it. It's not being abused. It's not being mistreated. Um, you clean the cage. You do what you got to do. You feed it. It's fed right. It's took care of. And I feel the same way about tigers, lions, bears, all of it. You know, if, if you can afford to take care of that animal and do for that animal, then the government needs to butt out of it. The government should not have no say in it. And PETA would love to just take all animals away from us because that's what they're about. So, you know, I look at it, it, it should be the same way across the board, whether it's snakes, whatever it is. And I'm ashamed every time. And people have sent me videos about all these animals being took away, uh, you know, all this stupid stuff in Florida where they're catching these wild Burmese pythons. You know, why don't we get them out of the state of Florida, take them somewhere else, put them in a sanctuary somewhere? You know, Florida can't, claims are such a nuisance. I think everything has its place in nature. You know, remember, they're keeping your rodent population down. Like I always tell people when people say, oh, well, I saw a snake out in my yard. I killed a snake. The only good snake is a dead snake. Uh, you know, I see all this stuff all the time about that kind of stuff. You know, remember, they're keeping your rodent population down. I mean, hell, we got we got a couple of we got outside cats here and there's still too many of rodents for them to keep up with. I can imagine if we didn't have snakes here in Louisiana, what it would be like. Rodents would just take all over everything, and they some nasty little buttheads. You know, they, they'll eat, tear up everything, eat your house up. Period. Go through your walls. I mean, a rat don't care. You know, I mean, there's some, they intelligent creatures, I'll give them that. They probably have just as much as in, just as much intelligence as what a snake does. But no, my opinion is if you can afford to keep it, you're caging it right, you're taking care of it, you're loving that animal then the government shouldn't have nothing to say, say about it. The hell with PETA and what the government has to say. You know, unless somebody's, you know, calling and saying you're abusing it, which sometimes they got, they should investigate that the right way too because it's a false claim. You know, <laughs> been there and dealt with that. Um, but that's a whole nother subject. But, you know, it's just a shame. And people in Florida, they, you know, like the reticulated pythons before they put them on the banned species list. They killed a bunch of that guy's animals. He didn't have a choice. He had to let them do it. You know, it's a shame because they put years and years of work with the work in animals. And all because Florida don't want the animal there. And it's not an invasive species. They got to kill them. You know, um, I don't think just because of some bullshit owners that don't take care of their animals. And that's where all these laws start from is because you get bullshit owners that don't take care of their animals. That every person out there in the world should be should stop being allowed to have an animal you know and i'm not saying every because there are some people that have lost their animals to the government that have been good to their animals they weren't abusers and then there's people that are that should lose their licenses or whatever they got that they just continue to have animals you know nobody says nothing to them you know it's just some of my thoughts I'll catch you guys on the next video.